any type as an, an operating system for the new internet. In current internet, um, it's built on a client-server architecture. So when I want to send a message to you, even if you are in the same room, this message goes from me to a server on the other side of the world, uh, then back to you. And uh, the server can read everything. The same with files we store, uh, the documents we collaborate on, our photos. The intermediary can access everything. That this intermediary closes your data so you can't leave. Try to get your data from Facebook, it's almost impossible. I know, I'm not actually on Facebook, <laughs> but, but yeah, but I hear you. Try to get it from somewhere else. And, and that, that's the reason you can't use the data from one app in the other. And uh, the new internet is different. So when I want to send a message uh, to you, I send it directly. Uh, the data goes uh, the shortest way, it's faster, and there is no server, no intermediary, no one can access our data. And because you and I now own our data, uh, we can use it across all apps. And um, there were previous attempts uh, to, uh, to bring privacy, uh, but they actually had a very shitty <laughs> user experience. And uh, I think majority of users are not ready to exchange uh, user experience for privacy. That's why any type is different. Uh, it blends together privacy, data ownership, and an awesome user that, experience. That sounds like a messaging system more than like a, an internet, the way I typically think of an internet. Um, how are the nodes, like is it structured with just a series of nodes that engage in one-to-one -one communication with each other, or how does, how does that work? Uh, it's, uh, it's not a messaging. It's, I just exp uh, explained uh, it uh, in an example of messaging, but there is like variety of apps from tasks to uh, documents to uh, messenger to uh, everything. And uh, it's like uh, your team or the people you collaborate with or you share with, you have your own internet in a way and you connect uh, to each other in a peer-to-peer -peer way and now exchange the data without uh, the central uh, intermediary that sees all of your data. Why did you want to do this? Uh, there are several reasons. Um, the first is uh, that we want to uh, bring this ability to create um, software, to translate your thoughts into software to all of us, not just uh, developers, because I think this is the literacy of the, uh, of the 21st century. And the second thing, the private aspect of it, the data ownership, is actually uh, very important to our civil rights. Because this is the central uh, communication channel, the most important information flow. And uh, this information flow should be protected from any possible um, digital dictatorship. That's why. That's a good reason. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. And uh, I would love to actually chat after about cool. what y'all are up to. That's great. Thank cool. you so much. Thank you.